to see you, back fit, healthy, and somewhere slightly different to where I'd have interviewed you before, not pitch side, but at Jiu Jitsu. Tell us how you've come to be here and how this place has become such a big part of your life. I uh, sort of finished five years ago of playing and uh, sort of on my road to recovery was just starting to do a bit of fitness uh, gym work. I've kind of been a fan of boxing in the UFC for quite some time and thought I've always wanted to understand that and try that. Since then, kind of use this for my fitness work. I don't go to gym or anything. I just, just come in here and it's become a sort of massive part of my life in a way. Let's go back and discuss what's been an incredibly difficult five years or so for you. You spent your whole career at Wolves, your boyhood club, and then of course you had some news that rocked yours and your family's world. To start a pre-season, we had blood tests, and my blood test showed that my platelets were pretty low. Then, for some reason, I had done a, a session, uh, a gym session, and my nose started bleeding in the change room. Um, and normally, I wouldn't say anything to the doctor because I know he's going to pull me out of training. Uh, but for some reason, I did. Probably after a couple of days, I had a phone call from uh, Dr. Perry at Wolves saying that um, I had cancer, and obviously, my kind of world just sort of fell apart from there, really, in a sense. And then I remember just sort of crying in the car park and having to tell my um, my wife that uh, who was pregnant at the time as well, and um, my family. So um, it was a difficult time. When you reflect on those few years, those tough few years of treatment, how do you look back on them? It was a, it was a, a, quite a tough year. I um, was quite seriously ill at times. Uh, I had sepsis. I lost my eyesight for a period of time. So it was it was a tough year, but. Uh, again, it was a fulfilling one. I had my daughter when, when I was in the hospital, um, so we, we had a, a lot of joy in in a real tough period. And I wasn't never a sort of person to take anything for granted anyway, but it just makes you really appreciate the sort of small things in life. What was that moment like when you got told you are in remission? It was just a relief, to be honest. Um, and me and my wife and my two kids got to sort of just go away and just spend some actual quality time because. My kids only see me on weekends, uh, really, and then there was times where I was quite ill, where I couldn't really see anyone. So it was just trying to make up for the kind of last time, the last year. How's that been, the transition of getting back fit, feeling fit, but not playing football? It was difficult to say that I'd retired. Um, I think that was the hardest bit. I knew that I couldn't do it anymore. I accepted that kind of everything comes to an end in life, and that was just something that kind of come to an end for me. And I had, uh, I had more value to give outside of football to, to sort of be in a, not in a bad way, but just a normal civilian, which I quite enjoy now, just being, we were just talking about the Fridays and Saturdays, I quite enjoy the Friday feeling now. You did also go back to Wolves recently. with Tony Roberts and the other goalkeepers. How was that for you? Well, I was a bit of a surprise, to be honest, because I just thought maybe I was going to help out with some of the keepers, maybe sort of help serve and et cetera, et cetera. And then Tony started telling me, well, we're we going to do this today, we're going, to, we're going to do that. And I was thinking, me? And he's like, yeah, you. you. <laughs> Is it to see him back here, yeah, healthy good. and It's very good. This is the most important. The numbers in the shirt is the shirt, but the, the important is the uh, color. Is, uh, it's okay, it's good, uh, with good health. The club did retire the number one shirt after you retired, but then you've given that shirt this season to Jose Sarr. Why did, why did you want to do that? I didn't want to sort of be a martyr to the shirt, <laughs> and uh, I'm definitely not Michael Jordan of the uh, goalkeeping <laughs> world. So. to walk by the, the number one goalkeeper and I think it's a symbolic shirt in goalkeeping and everyone wants that number one and I'm glad sort of Jose's taking it. So these days you're just a big Wolves fan are you? Yeah pretty much yeah um, it's quite funny I'm that sort of fan that's so I can move other fans now and <laughs> stuff like that getting into petty arguments about things. I went to an event in London and I spent my whole way arguing with a Villa fan about who was a better The Wolves fans all love that. Yeah. <laughs>